special guest with us tonight on Jesus Radio. This is my little bro, Heavy Metal Trap. What's good, Heavy? What's happening? 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 Uh, uh, showcasing his unique style uh, of, of music. He's got uh, uh, many thousands of fans all across the globe and quickly growing into one of the hottest independent artists out there. So I want to start off the show by saying thank you for agreeing to do this interview. Uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you for having me on straight up, man. It's love. Man. Yeah, you already know. Yes, sir. Hey, I've been a fan for, 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 for a few years now. So so for me, I, 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 this is a big blessing. It's a big blessing. <laughs> Go on, man. And, uh, no, I, I've been, I've been, I've been watching your joint for maybe I don't know how long. Maybe about two years, almost coming up on three or something like that. Yeah, we've been yeah, doing it since 2017. Yeah, that's, that's a long time to be doing it too. Straight yeah. up, shout out to y'all, salute to y'all. Yeah, appreciate you, appreciate you. Now, now, I, I say uh, a unique style of music because it's something that I've never personally heard. Uh, 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 but how would you describe your, your, your music? Um, you know, I, I, I like to look at it as a, just a, as a, there's a bigger picture that I'm trying to paint, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm using all these different lanes to kind of get there to the, to the bigger picture. So it's, it's, right. it's brand new. It's, it's nothing that I'm trying to copy from anybody. It's something that I'm trying oh. to start from bringing, you know, the sounds of heavy metal and trap together and making sure that the crowds know that they, they pretty much like the same music. And they have the same vibe, and we can all vibe out together. You know what I'm saying? But it also goes deeper too, to the point to where you know, coming from where I come from, heavy metal was worship was worshiping the devil to people. You know what I'm saying? Like that was like back oh, in the days, yeah. Devil. You know what I'm saying? That's white people shit. You know what I'm saying? And 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 then uh, on the other end, you know, you listen to Gucci or something like that. You got to be ghetto, got to be black. You know what I mean? So it, mm. it's kind of like a statement in that. You know what I'm saying? To unify too. Um, yeah, that's that's. I, I never thought of it like that. That's true. That's yeah. That's, yeah. yeah, that's some, that's some wild ass shit. But uh, 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 yeah. uh, 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 uh like like, uh, we need to make a new genre for your music. I think I, I feel like it, <laughs> it, it, it really is different, man. It's different. Like yeah, you use like some heavy metal stylings and, and mixed with hip hop. Uh, 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 yeah. But then you're also very poetic in, 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 in your bars, and, and yeah, I, I don't know. I just call it trap rock for real. Trap rock. I like that. <laughs> I like that trap rock. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's hear it for trap rock. God damn it. Good shit. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, real quick before before I even get into any any uh, of the questions, I I, I want to play one of your songs so that that the audience uh, can get an idea of of what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, uh, you want to introduce this? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna play Fry. Oh, Fry, how did that come yeah. up? How did so, that come up? So, Fry, Fry is kind of, kind of just like this. Just, just being in the kitchen, cooking up. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and just wanting to put out just dope music. Period. Just putting out something that no one's doing. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and uh, I got in front of the microphone one day, and, and, and I just, I kind of just went at it. And in, and that's what came out. So you know, and it's kind of like the basis of my sound. So when anybody hears that, it's kind of like they automatically get what I'm trying to do. So yeah. you know, th th this is this is a big one, and everybody loves this one. This is you know, hey, you know, this shit got millions of fucking yeah, views yeah. and streams, and this shit is going buck wow. Yeah, yeah. All right, no, all right. this is going crazy. You know yeah. what I'm uh, 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 the song is called Fry. Uh, uh, they can get it on, on major platforms, right? Yeah, all, everything. Uh, anything you can search up, Heavy Metal Trap on, you're going to find that record. <laughs> like, everything. Yeah, you know and that's Heavy Metal, one word, and Trap with a V instead of an A. So look look it up, T-R-V-P. All right, Real let's get valuable it. Player. This, is, this is called Fry. Oh. Yeah. Please don't get hurt. Yeah. Chuck. Like 
I can show you what it means to be a real rock star. Flashy yet yeah, it's fun, it's looking like a cop car. Natural born fighter, put me in the mosh pit. Real shooting star, man, I feel like John Wick. I just took some shots, but I'm far from the dirt. No to make a mess, women coming out the shirt. I'm just trying to smash, I ain't even trying to flirt. Smoke a lot of gas, get the cash, and I swerve. I don't know how long I got in the life. I'm turning a little, little. up music make yeah, me want to yeah. go outside and just start punching on my neighbor for no reason that's that make you want to go to work type shit right there you know what I'm saying? that's that mosh pit shit we the mob yeah, baby yeah yeah hey, and you played the clean version on there <laughs> yeah 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 i i i played the uh, the, the one you sent into the track battle yeah, yeah. Which, which you yeah. actually won, which I want to get into in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we hold these track battles. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, some of the dopest artists from all across the globe submit their music, and Heavy Metal done took it down with this one, and he actually won six times. He's, he's, the, he's the record uh, track battle champion. We've been doing it for four years. This man done won six times. Nobody's, the most anybody else has ever won was like twice, maybe three times once, but no one's ever come close. No one's ever going to beat that record. I t- I'll tell you right now, that, that that's sick. That's sick. <laughs> yeah, man, I've just been coming through just submitting track after track after track, man. Like, that's that's all it really be, you know what I'm saying? Putting in that work, trying to make sure I can, you know, keep going and, and, and push forward, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm like yeah. career, so that's, yeah. that's all I've been focused on was the cook-up. So that's how Pride came out, and you know what I'm saying? And that just kind of... It grew its own legs, you feel me, and it's doing its own thing. So, yep, yep. so to everybody who's been rocking with me in the mob, you yep. know what I'm saying? Like, to, yeah, everybody who's been supporting, you know, like, they, they took that record to the next level, straight up. Hell uh, yeah. Hell uh, yeah. Well, now, now that we listen to that, uh, I, I, I want you to take me to, like, through, through like, your uh, creative process. Like, when you're making music, how, how do you make your music? Like, what, what goes through your head? What, what do you focus on? What kind of tools do you know? Do you use? Uh, paint a picture for us uh, of you in the studio making this song. Uh, when I'm in the studio, I just kind of just you know I sit down and I just vibe. Like I may get some some to drink. Like I might get like a Hennessy or you know what I'm saying a highlight. Yeah, yeah. Get, get to the groove on. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then just kind of just just sit down in front of the piano and just play out whatever I want to whatever I want to hear at the moment. I don't look mm. for anybody else's beats. I create my own. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, you do create yeah, yeah, your yeah, own yeah. shit, too. Oh, that's even yeah. double impressive. Yeah, so I sit down, I'll make the beat. And then, uh, you know, I might spark up a little again. I might come back to it in 30 minutes, and then I'll just jump up in front of the mic, and whatever comes out, you know, that's typically what it is. I don't even write anymore, so, you know, huh. that, that's how it's going, yeah. So so, so, so uh, uh, you, you, you spit something into the mic. Uh, you make the beat first, or do you make, or, or do you make your beat around your, your vocal? Nah, I make, the, I make the beat first. Sometimes I'll make the song as I'm making the beat, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes huh. I'll, like... I already know like what I want to say as I'm making the beat, so then I just start putting it together as as I'm making the beat. You know what I mean? And and, and you know it comes in handy making your own shit, bro. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I I could tell, I could tell because you you get the you get your, your own vibe going. You don't, you don't gotta uh, try to try to build your music around what somebody else's idea for for a beat was and none of that. You get exactly right. what what you wanted to put out. Right. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. That, yeah. That's my whole process. You know, just jump up and just do the whole thing, top to bottom, and then you know, at the end, if I can't jam out to it, if I can't rock out to it, then you know, it goes into the vault. But if I know that I love that, you know, I'm gonna show people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let people know, like, you know, this is this is what I created. You know what I'm saying? And and it's just like that. That's dope. That's dope. Did you listen to a lot of rock music when you when you were young? Yeah, actually, yeah, it was it was all around, like in the TV shows and the uh, cartoon shows. Whenever you went yeah. to amusement parks, whenever you, whenever you go to a a, a store, the radio, uh, video games with Guitar Hero, like it was, it uh -huh. was all, yeah, like it was all around. And then plus, my dad was actually a big fan of like Kiss and and uh, you know he was he was into to metal, you oh, know what okay. I'm saying? So. <laughs> It, it, it just kind of picked up over time. Like, it, it took me a couple of years to get to that point of my life. But, you know, when I finally, like, realized, I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm going to try this lane. You know, it, it made sense. That's dope. That's dope. That's real dope. Uh, uh, so, so I guess, uh, 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 well, well, I guess that leads into my next question. Uh, what impacted you in your early, early years to start making music in the first place? Uh, honestly, seeing seeing my dad make music, but also uh, seeing that like there were kids that were able to like pop off and make it big, like Bow Wow, Romeo, huh. you know what I'm saying? Like like little teenagers raving, like they were going crazy at like kids. So that also inspired me to be like, you know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what yeah. I want to do. You know what I'm saying? If, if that's a little kid that can do it, I can definitely do it myself. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's dope. That's that's real dope shit. And and, and, and and what's your inspiration for making music today? Um, honestly, it's just to to continue where where I started. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't feel like my my picture has been painted, and I have to continue creating until I'm satisfied with the overall big picture. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's just like it's something that I just can't I I can't stop if I even wanted to. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this this is. And, this and, is yeah. You, you've gotten a, a, a lot further than a lot of these independent artists, man. You, you don't travel the the world touring. What what was that oh, like? Yeah. Man, that was that was that was amazing, man. Every every step of that was was dope. Uh, but it was also you know hard work behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? That a lot of mm. artists, that a lot of people didn't get to see. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times where I was struggling or 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 trying to trying to get to from point A to point B. You know what I mean? And but then you know. That is like they say, high risk, high reward. So I was, I was willing to take those risks, and and uh, you know that's what the reward was. Uh, give us an example, like like what do you mean by that? Uh, 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 getting getting from point A to, to point B. Uh, like you know, I, I I would look at an event or something like that. Like somebody be like, "Yo, let's go to ASCAP. It's over there in Cali." You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, "Damn, I don't got no money to da 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 da." da. Uh -huh. And then I suck it up, and then we kind of figure out how, how to get there, like either a spirit uh, plane ticket or a bus or something like that. And I would get, I would just get there, and I have no money in my pocket at all. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then somehow I would just figure out my way around and come up, even if it was just a little something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then just kept pushing like that. 
That's dope. That's dope. You manifested the shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah I paying was, attention to that? Yeah, yeah. I was I was I was all in. I'm still all in. You know what I'm saying? Like when I when I when I made the decision that I was gonna be a music artist, that's exactly what I wanted to do and I and I went all in. I didn't care what it took for me to do it. Huh. Oh, that's that, 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 that's some good shit for for you, you know we got a big independent artist community so so this is the kind of stuff that I, I like for them to hear. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, no, nah, nah, that's dope. That's dope though. If if anybody's listening right now from the community, you know what I'm saying, just whatever you're doing, like make sure you're going all in. Don't don't half-ass it because that's when you that's when you start seeing the 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 L's when you half-ass yeah. it. Man. Go all in. You don't go within. If you don't go from within. You gonna go without. So. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. You got to put in that work, y'all. Otherwise, yeah. it, it, it ain't going to happen. You keep pushing, you know, a little bit at a time. But but besides that, you, I, I saw you shit. I saw you in, in goddamn, uh, I think, Greece. Was it Greece? Was I, uh, I, was, I was over there in Europe. Uh, when I was over there in uh, uh, Amsterdam. And, uh, Amsterdam? Oh, Spain. that was been ill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was that was that was completely dope. That's when I realized, like, yo, I wasn't I wasn't doing what I thought I wanted to do because I need to work uh, ten times as harder to, you know, what I'm saying, continue right. to, to do the type of stuff that we were doing. That shit's crazy. Huh? And, and where where else have you been? I know you've been in South America. Yeah, South America. Uh, that was in Suriname and you know Belize. Belize. Uh, oh, Col- yeah. Man. Costa Rica. Jealous. Uh, I've been to Costa Rica, Mexico. Uh, I try to dig it everywhere. Bahamas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's dope. To, to, to be able to even say that you've done that is a big accomplishment on its own. Oh, yeah, no, that's that's for sure dope. And, you know, the funny thing is I never even thought about going across the country. You know what I'm saying? So, huh. you know, to be able to experience it was really dope. Yeah, that's, that's, that is super dope. Damn. Uh, 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 it, it gives me motivation, and hopefully, it gives uh, the, uh, a lot of the artists that are listening motivation uh, uh, because you, it, it didn't come to you easy. Nah, nah, at all, uh, at all. It's definitely hard. Definitely, is this this path is not for the weak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not yeah. for the weak, yeah. not for the faint-hearted. Yeah. You get a lot of no's. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and a lot of the, the the biggest acts today, like they all started like that small touring in little fucking buses, cars, sleeping in cars. If yeah, you're, if you're serious about your music, you 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 you'll sacrifice. Man, what? I right. can't tell you how many times I done slept in a car, slept at a park, slept on a bench, like uh. you know what I'm saying. Sleep at the train station, the bus station, airport, like yeah, yeah. Facts. Facts. All right, uh, 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 t- uh, today, what w- what would you say? Do you create music for yourself or for your fans? Um, I still create music for me, uh, ultimately, you know what I'm saying? Because it's therapeutic to me because it helps me with my anxieties and, you know, my depressions and stuff like that. It helps me overcome those things. And, um, you know, so I, when I say things... I'm, I just want myself to hear it, you know. The, the fact that other people hear it is a, uh, and like it and love it actually is a plus, you know what I'm saying? And right. I just continue. I just keep that in mind and, and just tell myself to never stop because I, I love the fact that they love it, so I continue to do it. So it's like a you know, give and take thing. I'm I, I'm glad you said that, man, because I I see even today, like I'm looking down my timeline and, and I'm seeing people that just give up. They just give up. Oh, nobody's showing me love. Nobody's that a thing. I'm giving up on music. I mean, and I'm thinking to myself, like, no, you should first make music for you. Yeah. Like you said. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I but I get the frustration though because you know they 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 also want to get somewhere with the crafts too. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. And 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 then that's where risk taking comes into play. You know what I mean? Like, but mm. you know, some people won't sacrifice that they won't risk their comfortability like you said we used to be sleeping in cars and stuff like that's real you know what i'm saying like some people won't sacrifice that to 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 be where they want to be so it takes them longer you know what i mean but Mm -hmm. you know you got people that go all in like look at that kid um you know he infiltrated the gang and all that like he went all in sacrificed everything to get to where he want but that's not the route that i'm trying to go so (laughs) you know what i mean like so it's taking me a little longer 
You know what I mean? But salute to anybody who can, who's willing to sacrifice to get to where they want to get to, because that's not easy. That's not an easy choice. Yeah, I I feel like a lot of them, uh, they look at today's artists because there's a lot of kids that just pop off. You know, they go viral because of some like look at look at the Island Boys. I mean, yeah. See, the Island Boys is crazy because I watched them. I watched them when they were when they weren't viral when they were when they were like you know in the ten thousands you know what i'm saying like right. and from the whole time that i've watched them to all the way up to the point to where they finally did pop off to the masses they they put in that work every single day like every single day they was going live doing something putting out some type of picture some type of whatever and they were they were putting in that grind you know what i'm saying yeah. so when they did the island boys it made sense because they were putting in the work to get there and that's and that's why a lot of people don't see is all like it looks to us like they just made a viral video and blew up overnight. <laughs> nah, nah, right? they went they went in. I I remember seeing them when they were like they were small, like ten thousand people. It wasn't it wasn't that much, you know. They right. they, they they yeah, they put in that work though. Hey hey, more power to them. Uh, uh, I ain't gonna say I'm a fan of the music. Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> But they more powerful. Nah, the music, them, I don't know if I, I, you know what I'm saying? The music, <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? I would like to see some improvements. You feel me? Yeah, but, yeah. I heard you that. Know what I, I definitely can respect the grind. Yeah, I, I heard that the, 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 the official video. Man, that mix was horrible. Did you hear it? <laughs> that had to be on purpose, though. I, uh, swear had to I don't purpose. know, man. It was all static. I was like, what the fuck are they doing? That had to be on but, purpose. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you, man. But, but but salute to them, salute, salute to all you independent artists that are out there grinding, that that, that are really pushing, and, and that, that don't expect hands out handouts and and, and, and want to get you know famous overnight. Yeah. But uh, uh, nah, with, with that said, not. with that said though, I, I want to get into another one of your songs, and this one here is but, another track battle winner. You want you want the track <laughs> battles with this one too, uh, but this one here you you, you, you got into your bars. <clears throat> You got into your bars. <laughs> you started flexing on, on, on motherfuckers. You started yeah. showing them, hey, I can rap, rap, rap. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. Wanna, it's World War Three. You want to introduce it? Uh, how did this come yeah, about? Yeah, man. Yeah, because um, you know, being being heavy metal trap, you know, it kind of rings to people's ears, you know, as it should. Like you think of a heavy metal trap right. artist. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't think that I have any substance or anything that what I'm saying in my lyrics. So constantly I would always get comments like, oh, he ain't got bars, he ain't got this, he ain't got that. And I'm like, but people don't even know that I came from hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Right, like right, I right, came right. from hip hop, this is how I started. That was the first thing that I learned how to do before I started doing this. You know what right. I'm saying? So then then I had to do that song to like kind of let them know like, yeah, man, like, like, I want, like don't, don't come from me Flex like that. Flex your bro. muscles like, a little bit, smack yeah, people around. Yeah, like, hey. like, like I'm gonna hold my own if you come for me. Just, just you don't, you don't want to battle me. That's not what you want to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what All I'm right, well, well, let's get into it. This is called World War Two. I mean World War Three by by Heavy Metal Trap. Please don't get hurt. Yeah. Uh huh. Heavy. 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 Give me the microphone sight, give me the microphone check I'm about to rock and take it off and I ain't stopping till I finally get some proper respect You are the options, let me redefine your logic Nigga, before you try to knock you hear me out, I got a lot on my chest I confess to all my sins, don't I have a single regret It's no that, fit it to win in any era, no cap That's facts, after the drop, they gonna be blowing my check And oh yeah, to all the old heads, hip-hop's back Drop a bomb on it, flex, ain't no time on it I keep it a thousand with these haters, they like 500 They telling stories, spraying the God, and somebody buy it We in the same market and I still won't drop a dime on it what did you think that this was? This year I'm coming for blood I'm talking off for the top Everybody in with a slug You not a gangster for real You just shooting the six The feds came for the nine He was ready to snitch Did you believe that he was a rainbow hair savage Running around with ratchets Bringing it to the masses Nah, before we pass this Let's point out the fact this They was letting them find Now he coming on doing a backflip down You had one job not to let a stranger bang Now it's 2020 and we got stranger thing Double does, triple ones We ready with bigger guns We won already Sank the old days Get brush, no cocaine, or praise the most high Our soldiers ready to die This ain't for Donald Trump, we ride for our slums That still need healthcare, where most will die young no. Every day of my life I 
I've always had to fight Every day of my life I've always had to I'm the soul collector, the huge trifecta I won't waste a breath, I'm set to be the next up I bet that you won't come try test my guts If it's fluke, then don't mind if I press my luck Who want what? And when, where, how? Anytime, any place, yeah, I'm here right now Guns up, unlimited ammo I blend with the surroundings without the camo Round for round, ramble, one, two, Bobbing and weaving, I'm throwing all haymakers Very strategic, you came in the ring with a playmaker You rockin' with demons, I hope you meet Jamaica I'm me a real bottom on me, not from Jamaica I'm the last great hope, you niggas jokes Don't compare me to none of you rappers, I'm the GOAT Whoa, no encore for the past era Yo, you had your time, old man, now it's time to step back Cause you had one job not to let a stranger bank Now it's 2020 and we got stranger thing Double does, triple ones, we ready With bigger guns, we won already Sink the old days, get brushed no cocaine or praise the most high Our soul is ready to die This ain't for Donald Trump We ride for our slums That still need healthcare Where most will die young no. Every day of my life I've always had to fight Every day of my life I've always had to fight I ain't gonna lie, man. That's one of my favorites right there. <laughs> that, that, that's one of my favorites. I, I, I always jam out to that shit. I got it on rotation, of course, on Jizu Radio. Hey. I yeah. got, uh, we got at least, uh, I think, at least six of your songs on there. <laughs> Yo, there be times that they're like, like two or three of your songs play back to back, and I'm like, oh, fuck. I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta, uh, mix them up a little bit better. Yeah, but hey, it is what it is. You know, you win a track battle, you, 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 you get the rotation. That's how it works. Yeah. Hey, yeah, um, that's fine. Uh, that's uh, fine. See, yeah, with, yeah. The, with the track battles, I, um, you know, like with that, I know that was just super competitive. You know what I'm saying? At, the, at that time, like, you know, yeah. we had people like, you know, Black Waters entering and uh, Bosswood and, and uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody uh-huh. was into Heavy it. Heavy hitters. You know, it, was, it was really... It was really competitive, so I knew I had to come with something that would stand out and, and actually kind of, you know what I'm saying, yeah. just hit different, you know what I mean? So 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 that that was my joint that I had to submit, yeah, straight up. So you had to pull out the bars on them, show them, show them yeah, that, that you're yeah. about this hip-hop shit, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that's when they really start sleeping when it comes to that. When it comes to, like, the competitiveness of the nature, that's when they start sleeping on it. Like, you know, like, what I'm doing is, like, it's on some new age shit. This shit ain't really got no hip hop substance to it, or you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, nah, nah. nah but that's what I, that, that's what I love about your music is, is specifically that because it is different and unique and it is heavy metal. But but then then you flexing with you come flexing with bars like that. And it's like ah nah, this is hip hop. This is hip hop <laughs> in the end. To me, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like like uh, that, that's why hip hop was you know that's what maybe want to start making music you get what i'm saying like so although i I venture out into other genres you know what i'm saying hip-hop was the one that made me pick up the piano pick up you know what i'm saying certain shit so i'm always gonna have that essence to my music yeah hip-hop's a crazy ass movement i was i was blessed to be to be there from the beginning i you know i was out there and my mom was dragging me to to cool herc's block parties when i was a little legit like seven years old you know what i mean (laughs) Uh, so i was blessed to be around hip-hop from from the beginning and, and and it really is the biggest genre out right now. It's the biggest genre. I never thought I'd see the day. Hell yeah! I be sick, man. We 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 doing our little shit, though, man. You know the the new generation. Well, it's not really the new generation, but it's our generation. And we're just trying to like separate and, and create our own little thing right now. You know what I'm saying? So and, and, and that's why it's grown into in, into such a into the biggest genre. A lot of people don't, you know, they, they, they think it's just the old school, but not a lot of the young cats coming out, they're really the ones that expanded this across the, the oceans. You know, yeah. they, they, they really push yeah. this shit out there with, with, with styles like this, different styles, different uh, flavors. All of a sudden, hip hop wasn't the same as it used to be. You know right. what I mean? So, uh, shout, shout out to all of y'all, man. Uh, uh, I forgot to ask you earlier, though, uh, 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 where are you from originally? 
Originally, I was uh, born in, in uh, Richmond, Virginia. You know what I'm saying? So okay. I spent like I spent like maybe uh, I want to say about seven years in Virginia, or or no, 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 maybe about maybe about eleven years in Virginia. Then I moved. Then I moved to like uh, Orlando, and you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, yeah. And you and you lived in Orlando for a while. I know. I know. I know. You blew up on the scene there. Uh, 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 Orlando yeah. had a lot of love for you over there. I know that. Yeah, because I took off early in Orlando. Like I took off early. Like I took off in like maybe 2009 in Orlando. You know what I'm saying? I got had a little follow up there just yeah. from doing regular shit, like doing all the shit that I do now. But you know, times ten because I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like so. Yeah. So I kept moving back and forth between Orlando and Virginia, and. Um, by the time I hit 19, that's when I was uh, finally just in Virginia for a few more years. And, you know, I wanted to really pop off with the music. So that's what started the journey. Huh. And Virginia got some dope-ass artists, man. Like, so many fucking uh, legends came out of there already. Oh, yeah, man. Like, it's, it's the, the competition in Virginia, it's hard because uh -huh. it's more so, like, one person at a time almost in Virginia. You know what I mean? One like, person to blow up at a time. Yeah, because it's huh. like it's it, the competition is so hot, you know what I mean? Like everybody who's trying to do it, they're all good because because they're trying to make sure that they're the one that coming out. You know what I mean? But right. it takes for them to like you know, it's not like that just in Virginia. It's like in other places too. But it takes for these people to realize sometimes you have to get up and leave and come back and bring shit back and then and then do it again and do it again and do it again. Yeah, I I kind of I kind of remember like like one artist at a time like uh, i would learn about oh they all oh, this one's from virginia I, oh shit now, now the next popping artist is this so you're right yeah 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 i never looked at yeah it we don't got that many we don't have that many it's like it's almost like one at a time you know what i'm saying unless they're in a group you know what i'm saying but, like they're not yeah but they stand the test of time you know what i mean like like they, they stretch across a, a long period of time so 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 That's, even though, even though it's one at yeah. a time you no, know, that, that's 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 a fact. When you when you're talking about the the the, the big the big dogs from Virginia, like Pharrell and Missy, yeah. Yeah. And, you know Trey Songz, Chris Brown, uh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like we 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 had some people. Pusha T, yeah, Pusha T, go on now. You know, yeah. P I think Pusha yeah. T might have been one of the first that I really started to fuck with out of Virginia, and Missy, of course. Missy's my favorite female artist of all time. Like, yeah, like, rap, yeah, rap wise, she's my favorite. I don't think anybody could fuck with, with with her catalog. No, Missy's fire. Missy's oh. definitely fire. Uh, that was, that's definitely so. She's definitely goes down in like inspiration as far as as far as I'm concerned. Cause she's she's always been putting out that fire. And she's been creative though too. Like a lot of people don't give her enough credit for that. She was creative. She was bringing flows creative. to the game. Yeah. Like flows. She was bringing flows to the game. People weren't even using. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So, that change change the game. I think her and Busta Rhyme changed the game dramatically. Them two like were super super unique. They were she, she, Buster, she, she, yeah, she, Buster. Yeah, she reminded me of a female Buster Rhymes almost like uh like in the way she approached her, 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 her raps and stuff. But but speaking of who who are some of your biggest influences now that we're talking about that? Uh shoot, man, I got a, I got a list of them, dog. Like I got you know um, Wayne, of course. You know what I'm saying? I, like like he he I've been listening to him since he was like you know fourteen type shit you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? but I, I wasn't around when he was 14 but you know i was listening to like all his stuff from then and all the way up to where he is now so you know i've seen the growth and there has been a big influence um you got yeah. jay-z because I, I i like i like jay-z's of course yeah. his instructors and uh his his music choice his, his beat selections are it's, dope and come on, bars are crazy. it's cool to hate jay-z these days but let's keep it a bug this motherfucker got more hit records than just about anybody more plaques more 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 grammys more you know and no that's a dope. fact that's a fact though that's a fact though jay-z jay-z's a heavy hitter like and i mm -hmm. think i think a lot of people gonna realize that when he steps when he starts pulling stuff that's not even in hip hop to to the table, when he when he pulls out the song with Lincoln Park and right. you know what I'm saying, when he pulls out stuff like that, you know what I mean. Then they're gonna remember like, oh shit, no, Jay Z really does this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Hell yeah. All right, all right, good shit. Uh, uh now now, uh, I want to talk about your performances. Like like when you when when you're up on stage 
and, and you rock in the stage. Like, like, give me, a, give, give me an example of like some of your best performances and some of your worst performances. Uh, best performance, best performance is when you're able to lock out, you know, on crowd interaction, and just kind of let loose and do you. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and where did that happen for you though? You remember a specific show that that you did? Or uh, it, yeah, it was actually it was one that a lot of people weren't even at. Like it was it was it was one like like a whole in the wall type type shit. Shout out to the sound bar. You know what I'm saying, right. and um, I just I had I had a few people in there that I wanted I wanted to be there just to see it, and uh, you know there were some few randoms in there, and you know, and I just kind of just let loose to the point to where like people were feeling it so much. Dude walks up to me, and hands me a fat ass blunt, <laughs> just just uh-huh. as I'm performing the song, like uh-huh. just, just to hit it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Buy one of this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I pass on, I, you know, I pass it back to him. But I was just going dumb that night, and people kept like coming up to me that night saying like, "Yo, like I, I fuck with you because like I can hear the passion in your shit. Like I don't, you know, it doesn't sound like he's trying to sell me something. Like it, it's like you're very passionate about what you're doing right now. You know what I mean? And th- those are some of the best compliments. You know what I mean? Some of the some of the worst is when like you know, like I lose my voice or some shit. Like I lose my uh. voice. I killed the shit, but you know I lost my voice, so then I can't network afterwards or something like that. Oh man, so so you 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 try give me an example, give me a show that that you remember. Uh, the 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 very first time I performed Fry, like the very first time. Oh, I you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like yeah. everybody somehow knew the lyrics. You know what I mean? Right. And and we were all just yelling at the top of our lungs, and I lost my voice. And then the crowd were like literally sound like an angry mob because they didn't want me to get off stage. And like oh. they were calling they were calling out for another one. Like they wanted another shit and it sounded like an angry mob, bro. Like uh, they were just like uh, they didn't want the host to get on until I did another record. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and then I had one more record in me, but my voice was gone. But the but the uh but the host was like, yo, I'ma just I'ma I'ma come back to heavy metal. And then, uh, you know, we go do this because it got to be fair because people were paying for the slots to be on that show. And I didn't I didn't pay for shit. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I was just there just doing that one song. You uh-huh. know what I mean? And, and they were getting mad because it's like, yo, he's taking up our time and all that other shit. Uh-huh. That's that, you know, it was it was bad because there were so many labels in a building, you know, that were that were trying yeah. to talk to me. And I didn't have a voice, so I'm trying to like I'm trying my best to explain to him like, yo, just take my contacts, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like I gotta skate out of here because it's, it's just crazy. And, and then it's loud in there, so you you gotta talk even louder, which you couldn't because you, you had no voice. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, it was oh. it was crazy. It was pandemonium. That was probably like it was the it was a it was a blessing and a curse because that was the best night of my life and the worst, man. <laughs> like real shit, shit. real so, so- shit. So the, 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 does that make you like now when you perform? Do you get stressed out before you go on on the stage? Like, nah, like what, what, nah. what? I, I don't get stressed out. I, I kind of just, um, I just wanna, I just wanna give it my all. Like, just put put everything into it every time. You know what I mean? Like, I'm one of those artists that like when when I fi- when I'm eventually when I finally get to that point to where I'm putting together my own tours. Right. You know, saying for for people to for to join me, build my own stages and stuff like that. Like I, I like to think about like creating, taking it to another height, like you know, like lifting up from the ceiling or something like that. Like you know what I mean? Like I'm, oh, yeah. I'm trying to take it to the max. Yeah, put on a good show for the people. That's that. That's people. People don't don't. Well, artists, I should say, they they, they don't they don't think about the stage performance. How important that is. Oh yeah, no that that is a that is a, a memorable moment for for right. uh, anybody that's watching you. Um, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? And it's hard to block out emotions too when you, when you're in that state because because you're trying to do your thing and then somebody might be there throwing you off or you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's, it, you'll get heck, you'll you'll get hecklers and stuff like that. You'll you'll get yeah. that. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, you just gotta you gotta push through all of that. Huh? But uh, with that said, though, what, what what would you say is like the biggest problem that that you've encountered in your journey in music? The biggest problem, yeah. Um, not doing, not doing enough homework, not doing enough homework. Huh. Uh, huh. You know what I'm saying? Like not, not taking the time to, 
you know, step outside of the box and see what was going on inside and then stepping back in with a different approach. You know what I'm saying? Just doing doing the same things over and over and over and over again. And then finally realizing, oh, shit, like I've been doing this the same way over and over and over again. Let me switch it up. Huh. <laughs> like, yeah. Huh, I've never thought of that. that that's that's good. That's that's good feedback. That's good feedback. Yeah, to the yeah. Huh. yeah do, definitely doing the homework and, um, you know, not like people tend to forget that whatever they're creating, like that's their babies. You know what I'm saying? Those are their babies. So like, it doesn't matter whatever you did with it. Like if you abandon it, you just abandon your child for, for you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, so you have man. to, you have to take care. You have to take care of it. Even if you didn't like per se, like that idea, you know what I'm saying? At least keep that going. You know what I mean? So you don't lose that, those connections and that, and that, that contact and that network that you were in. Uh, before you abandoned it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people will jump ship. They'll jump communities because they didn't like the other one and they forget all about that page and that catalog that they built. You know what I'm saying? And then those some of those connections, like, down the road, like, even though they might not be the biggest connection now, but, you know, two years later, yeah. they could be that connection that you need to get your foot in the door. You know what I'm you saying? You never so, know. Yep. Yeah. They, they, yeah. they, they, they might have linked up with, with somebody that, that, that that's perfect for, for, for you. Yeah, yeah, that's true, man. Yeah, always, always keep those connections close to you. Always, do, you know, do right by them. That's dope. That's good advice. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That that's probably yeah, yeah. This is the best. Yeah, yeah, man. Like this, this journey's crazy, bro. Like if you if you really just trying to really do it, man, you're gonna be faced with a lot of challenges, man. A lot of challenges. It's your job to figure out those challenges and overcome them. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. hell yeah. Yeah, that's dope. All right, well, let's get into uh, 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 this last track here that, that I'm going to play tonight uh, because this is a new one. I, I hadn't heard it until you, you sent it in uh, the other day to, to the show. And, and I think it's yeah, simple. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you want to uh, give, give me a little rundown on this? What, what, what does To the Kitchen mean? Uh, to the Kitchen. So uh, Chef Light was the, was, was the project. Um, you know, they caught a lot of people's attention when, when I when I put well, I didn't really put it out, but when it when it came out, you know, everybody was kinda like putting their focus on fry and you know, but it wasn't like really like I put that together purposely. It was just cause I was cooking. You know what I'm saying? I was just cooking up tracks, track out the track, out the track, out the track, and that was the one that just seen the hit. So I brought back Chef Life, but this is the same it's the same concept. I'm just cooking, you know what I'm saying? But uh -huh. to the kitchen is like like let you know hey man like like i'm back in the kitchen for real like i'm back here for real and uh -huh. and you know what i'm saying you don't have to believe if i'm gonna uh have another big song like fry again like it's just gonna happen because i'm back in the kitchen uh, you know yeah. what i'm saying like it, uh, yeah. yeah so yeah like that was kind of like my reminder to anybody who's been listening to me or watching my growth that i'm still here and i'm still pushing like no matter what the odds are uh, that are that are against me. I'ma always come out and prevail. I got more wins than my losses. You know that's what I'm right. saying? Like that's, that's that right. shit. That's right, damn it. Alright, let's get into it. To the kitchen by heavy metal trap. <laughs> So long on the master, to the kitchen, 
I'm the chef. I've been cooking so long, I'm the master. But you thought I wasn't left. I've been putting all this work in since the jet. You can ask my homie Ray. Trying to ball like a Maserati wreck, but you know that. I've been taking down my ops and I'm ready for the blow. And I heard they on my top. Big chop, they gon' swing around our block. Slide back to the old me and Rara in a seven. They ask me where I'm going, I just say I'm on a mission. And they already know my niggas trying to catch a slip. Pushing up by the quarter pound, you know they want no smoke. Hold it down when I come around, cause I'm stopping there like what? Hold the ground on my holy ground, you can bury me in gold. I'm hotter than this pot of man, I'm sleeping by the stove. Oh, when I'm lost, stay in dark, I'm blessed. So long, I'm the master To the kitchen, I'm the chef I've been cooking so long, I'm the master Ah, ah Ah, shit Alright, 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 good shit, good shit no, As y'all can see, the man's diverse. Three totally different songs, different styles. Uh, 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 all of them with that little rock and roll edge, but but you know bars uh, in between, sandwiched nicely. Sandwiched yeah, nicely man. in there. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, kind of just show my versatility. You know what I'm saying? So this is why I freestyle everything now. You know what I'm saying? Like just to. Just right. to show that I can like kind of hang with anything, you know what I'm saying. But also, I'm going somewhere with the direction, like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm painting a, a overall picture, so I want people to yeah. always keep it in mind. I, I I like how you how you how you're piecing your projects together too. Like you're, you're making it cohesive. You're making it uh, go from from one into the other, and they all mesh well. All, all of the songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do a better job of uh, of that because I've I've released songs and released songs and released songs, released albums. You know what I'm right. saying? But then, you know, I just found I found the ones that actually kind of just worked for me. So I just been you know chasing chasing those and just knocking those down one by one. That's what's up. All right, all right. Uh, I'm listening to your music and I'm like, like who could I see? Who I'm trying to picture like collabs. Who who would you like to collab with? If you if you could collab with anybody, uh, whether damn, whether whether like mainstream right now, or independent, whatever anybody, yeah, give give me that, give me at least three people that you would like to collab with. Damn, uh, I mean independent, you know, what I'm saying I always want to do something with uh, Dread, Dread Red, Dread I always want to do right. something with Kerr. Uh, you know, what I'm saying mainstream, I would say. Dang, like mainstream, that's a hard one, man. Because yeah, there's you, like, a lot. There's a lot mainstream. to pick from. No, because you want to hit, like, you want to hit record. You know what I'm saying? So Drake, Drake will probably be, like, you know It's almost saying? automatic, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's probably going to be number one, Drake, for sure. Huh. Uh, and I don't know, man, third third person. Shoot, man, I don't know. I, wanna, I just wanted to, I want to collab with anybody that's just like really dope for real. You know what I'm saying? That's really dope and that's pushing. Mm-hmm. I got some collabs that's coming up that I think a lot of people are going to be shocked about. I haven't said a word about them, but you know, I'm, I you kept them on the wraps. Okay, um, okay. You know, you know, we working, but I, I can't really think of anybody to really collab with. Maybe Trippy Red. You know what I'm saying? That's Trippy that's Red. probably right. the only other person. I can see that. I love Trippy Red's voice. I love how he sounds on the mic, you know what I mean? Like, he has a, a, a cool swag about him. So I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, no, nah, and he got that, he got a little hip-hop to him, too, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 he definitely got bars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you listen to him spit for real, like, he be saying something, so, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. That ain't, that ain't bad. Uh, 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 if, if, you, if you could get in, uh, give advice to an independent artist that's just starting out, what would you tell him? Mm. Uh, I would tell them just to take their time and learn everything, you know what I'm saying? Learn everything about uh, your craft and then also learn everything about the business, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, take that extra time to sit at the library and read these books and, and, and get it, you know what I'm saying? Get it right because 
Once yeah. you step out, you're gonna have to start backtracking, and you're not gonna want to do that. It's just, it's just gonna slow you down. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna slow you down dramatically. So start. Eat. I would advise them to like really do the homework. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. From the from the business end, learn about your BMI, ass caps. Learn learn about you know proper management, all that stuff. Uh, yeah. I, I, I always tell them, you know, like like uh, when it comes to mixing and mastering, you know, that's always my my biggest thing. Uh, 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 yeah. a lot, you know, we get a lot of submissions from some dope ass artists, and their mixes are such garbage. And it's like, mm-hmm. oh, because you know, it's, it, you know, engineers are expensive. So I I, 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 I like to tell them, you know, like that's, that's one thing. If, the better you could get at that. I, I, I like like somebody like Russ. Like I, I really look yeah. up to him. I, I, I like this young brother. I think he's dope, and and, and he did his thing uh, on his own and learned how to yeah. get a, an industry level mix. So business mix mixes and all that. What what else would you say? Uh, um, true. What else is I mean, on this? I mean, to keep your face clean. Like a lot of people don't think about that. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Keeping your face clean. Like when you're doing stuff, like. You know, a lot of people think about just getting to the money, so they don't care what they do to get to that joint. But if you keep your face clean, you get a lot further than you do doing people dirty. It don't matter how big you blew up doing people dirty. That shit is always going to come back on you. And yeah. that shit be sick when it come back on you. When you got a couple mil, when you got a couple mm-hmm. M's on you, you come back. Yep. Oh, yep. you're going to be sick. Yep. You start, you start feeling it then. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, all right, uh, last question. Last, last question. Uh, uh, are you working on any new music, tours? Is there anything that we should know about? Yeah, man. Uh, I'm actually, Chef Life 2 is in the making. You know what I'm saying? As, as you heard from To The Kitchen. And then I also have, a, um, you know, an album coming out, Type 3. You know what I'm saying? That's on the way. Uh, also hitting South by Southwest in March. So if anybody coming out of South by, Link, Link will be out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be out there doing my thing. Uh, awesome. and, and yeah, man, vid- videos, sh- videos are coming. Like, like, just a lot of. It's gonna be a lot of content this year. It's gonna be a lot of content. I, I want some okay. exclusives. God damn it. Yeah, I want some it's exclusives. Gonna, it's it's gonna be a lot of content. I'm gonna flood. I'm gonna flood it with just nonstop great content, uh, great music, and 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 uh, you know, see where this journey ends up. You feel me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like I said, make sure you include Jiju Radio. In your plans. Uh, already, uh, already. Uh, I see ya, I see ya. Yeah, we're also putting you, uh, we're doing a full page spread uh, uh, on you uh, based on this interview and, and, and what I know about you and stuff like that on our magazine. Yeah. This is our very first issue. I'm super proud of it. Uh, it's coming out in January, so stay tuned for that, y'all. Uh, uh, no, but I love. Hey, hey, Heavy, I love you, my brother. Thank you for rocking with us. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, 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 you one of the realest motherfuckers I know, for real, for real. I appreciate you, G. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you for giving me the platform, showing the music to love, and you know, creating a platform for others as well. You know what I'm saying? That's dope, man. Shout out to Jesus. You already know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and where where can they find your music? I, I I put your 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 IG on the bottom. It's heavy metal trap underscore uh, heavy metal underscore T R V P. But but uh, yep, yep. is that is that across but all heavy- platforms or? or? Across across all platforms is heavy metal, T R V P. If you type in, it doesn't even matter how you type it in. As soon as you type it in, heavy metal T R V P, I'm gonna pop up. So, right. Yeah, just just yeah. All right, that's what's up. All right, well I, I appreciate it once again. Thank you for rocking with us. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna write out with, it, with with a little song that I that I happen to like, which is also a track battle winner. It's called Rolling Stone. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So they take me back to when I was uh riding the wheel with my uncle Isaac, sliding through the hood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They take me back to my ghetto before heavy metal in the heart of the city. What niggas down for whatever? When you come from the gritty, them youngers growing up quick. Ain't no you get out of pocket. They walking around with the grip, ready to rock and don't need no. Stone with magazines and won't hesitate to blow on the scene like a director shooting movies. Ain't no rock stars, they so it oozy. Uh.
Get a boy got a gun Instead of reaching the demons Better take your prayers and run I come from where they smoke You and proceed to roll up the blunt Another day in this hell Like heaven never will come It ain't no tears in these streets Except the dads when they cheat And if you know like I know Then that's the cow on the streets All the respect to the shooter Bless the ones at the barrel We'll never see them again Until the latest apparel By the time it's too late to go back I wish I could rewind time So you can give back your life But the world the legends die young Sometimes I can't stand my environment It's so tiring But it did make a man And now I fall like a mellow And I still feel the pain It sent me back to my ghetto Before heavy metal In the heart of the city What niggas down for whatever When you come from the gritty Them young is growing up quick Ain't no true get out of pocket They walking around with the grip Ready to rock and don't need no rolling stone But magazines are gonna hesitate to blow On the scene like a director Shooting movies Ain't no rock stars They so it oozy uh. Alright y'all, salute everybody, thank you Heavy Metal, y'all stay thank tuned, you. follow Heavy Metal on all platforms. Alright, y'all already know. Peace.